Hey guys, this is me, Mr. Foz HD, back on the farm, but for a different reason. This is not for the tutorial series I'm doing currently. This is for the Let's Play series that I'm um, going to be starting over the next, I don't know, period of time on my channel. So this is going to be really fun. I'm going to do a little tutorial today just to show you guys my farm a bit. We're also going to be looking at my friend James's place over there. I was originally going to do this on a server, on the server I play on, so it's got a bit of updated stuff. So it's got a power plant here, just as a little objective to show you what I'm going to be doing over this Let's Play series. But... Oh well, I can't get on it because the world is a bit, well, bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you a quick tour now. So here we've got our lovely tree breeding place. This is where we get all our lovely breeds, you know, getting the new the new things out um, out of these trees. So you can see we've got lots of crossbred plants. We'll, next episode we'll get the grafters out and, you know, have a go at looking for, to find this new breed of tree I'm looking for. Here these are my uh, easy apiaries with my bees in. These and to make sure these uh, crossbreed and pollinate. I think I've got five or six. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I've got six. And these have just got like really basic, simple bees. This one doesn't seem to be carrying on. I guess it's because I haven't got the um, the autarctic gate on it yet. Yeah, I've got these autarctic gates as well. I'll show you the building I've been making them as well. These are really handy, these things. I'll explain it in the um, later episodes probably. Um, and then, oh. What's happened there? My mouse went a bit weird. Uh, we've got just randy, random bees, randy bees. Um, and yeah, this is just where I do my crossbreeding. Very easy. Now here we've got my lovely peat farm. I have currently only got one peat engine in there. Um, and this is where I got my peat from. Basically, it's just bog earth. You leave it next to some water. It becomes peat and you can use that as fuel. So I've just got my little peat farm there. I've also got my wheat farm. I've got some wheat in my inventory that I've just dug up. So this is just where I get my daily source of bread. Isn't that nice? Uh, now we're going to move over to the next house. If you wonder what this is, this is called an Aerial Faith. I'll just pick this up a second. It's from the Portal mod, Aerial Faith Plate. And you basically just place it down the direction you want to jump. Then you can change this. So I'm going to change it to Horizontal Power Maximum. And this just launches you like that, which is really awesome. So I can just get onto these trees as easy, I, as, easy as I like um, using this thing. It's really easy to make as well. I'll quickly show you how to make it. Aerial Faith. It is very simple. Some iron, some redstone glass and obsidian so very easy very simple now you can see my um, skin's not on actually that's because I must not have connection to the internet unfortunately but that won't matter we've got our armor on so you can't really notice uh, right so let's go and see what's in here so today up uh, today uh, in here we've got our soul forge where we make our soul shards I've done an episode of that in my tutorials we've also got an alloy furnace we've got a bunch of furnaces here we've also got our only peat engine with some peat in it already from the peat farm We've also got a squeezer, a carpenter, and a centrifuge, which is pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. And we've got a pipette in there, just in case you want to take stuff out of the squeezer and put it into the carpenter. Uh, sorry for that. Now we've also got our crafting table and an anvil. Very nice stuff. And upstairs we've got our lovely bed with the chest with a bunch of enchantments we got. We've got the most overpowered armor here I've been making. I've basically got a... Um, a mob spawner over here. I can get unlimited XP. I'll show you that sometime soon as well. And we can just get as much XP as we can, get the best enchantments we like. And if you look at these, Thorns 3, Fire Protection, and Unbreaking on all of these, near enough. The helmet is insane. I've also named all these things, except for the legs, actually. Um, but yeah, and I've also um, got all these really good enchantments on here. I've got some standard enchantments on these things I've got in my inventory, but that doesn't matter. So yeah, we've also got an enchantment table here. Very simple. Uh, we've got the bookshelves around. Now, they've actually updated it, so you don't need as many bookshelves. So I don't actually need this one here. You just need, like, a layer of two, I think, which is really good. And we've also got our radio, who we can just dance to. I've done, that on t uh, I've done a tutorial on that as well. Uh, that was in my previous um, video, I think. So if you go back and look at my last video before this, that will be on the radio. Now, the next building we've got, actually, what I'm going to quickly do, this is my little sugar cane farm in the middle. I'm going to quickly stick a waypoint here saying, oh, I didn't click on it, my farm. I'm going to choose a colour, let's choose blue, I like blue, oh, I've just cancelled it, wow. Let's do it again, that's not farm, and there we go. So we'll do that, and there is our waypoint for the farm. So we've got our farm there, and now we'll be, always remember where to come. So this is my uh, storehouse. Um, this is where I keep all my valuables. We've got the food and agriculture chest. We've got lots of bones from the spawners we've got. We've also got a lot of food. I'm going to check. Is this the updated version with 
No, I've got a Wither Skeleton Spawner here on the updated version, which I'm probably going to be making soon in like a tutorial, maybe even in this um, series, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, so this is my food and ag uh, my agriculture. Uh, actually, that says food and agriculture. I'm going to change that. Let's quickly change it. Just that it says agriculture. Agriculture. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then we've got food here. We've got lots of steak from the lovely cow spawn we've got there. Look at that in a second. Basic blocks, very simple. We've got our gems and valuables. Only one diamond, surprisingly. But we've got a lot of coal. Some randy, random soul shards. I keep saying randy. Habit there. Um, lots of gems. So that's all good. We've got our tools and spares. Lots of grafters. So if we want to go graft our trees, we can. I've also got this, this awesome thing called a gravity gun. So you can just go around. I want to go and get one of these cows, actually. And you can pick up anything random and bring it <laughs> wherever you like. And then you can launch it. <laughs> oh, sorry, cow. Yeah, so that's that's an awesome little thing to have. A gravity gun. Very simple to make as well. This is the uh, like standard one. There's an upgraded one called supercharged gravity gun. And this is really easy to make as well. So, well, I think it's really easy. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Everything stays in the chest, though, which is good. So now we've also got our... Um, doesn't have a sign. But this is our tool, well not tools, armour and weapons chest. So yeah, that's our um, armour and weapons. We've also got another soul forge here with some soul shards in it. We've got our project table, which just keeps our recipe in it for us and a craft table. Simple. And we've also got our bars and ingots here. Lots of good stuff. We're going to need a lot of this copper and tin for later things we're going to be making. Probably the main chest here, we've got all our logs and planks. This is what we get from all the different trees we breed. I've gone down the jungle line of the trees, so I've got so many saplings you'll not believe. Um, looking at all these Capoc, Yellow Moranti. Yellow Moranti is the highest I've got to so far. Uh, Myrtle Ebony, but now I've gone down a different route of getting the hill cherries, silver limes, and I think it's, I can't remember what's the next one. I think it's the Monday Larch, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, this is my warehouse, awesome place, looks good, and yeah, I quite like the design of it as well. We used the Capoc logs there to make it look very nice, and also the teak planks. So here we've got our mine, that's a, just a boring mine just going down there, getting my daily minerals to make some good stuff. Here we've got our zombie spawner, I'm going to go up here quickly actually, bit of a long journey up, but uh, this is where I have an angry zombie spawner up here that I've made using the soul shards. And this basically just spawns these uh, angry zombies. They get pushed down by a bunch of water. Let's have a look if it's still here. It's not here anymore because I took it away. I think that's because I've got enough XP. And oh dear. Luckily, <laughs> I've got these long full boots. Done a tutorial on that. So if you're wondering about that, go check out my tutorial episode. Um, but yeah, basically what they did do was fall down. Oh, that's why I stopped it. It's because I got a full chest of zombie brains and rotten flesh. I also got quite a bit of iron in there as well, but I took that out. There's the cow there. I think it's escaped because I shoved it with my gravity gun, unfortunately. So here we've got our lovely animal pens. We could probably get a chicken and a pig pen as well. Um, so we've got a tier 5 cow spawner here. Um, this spawns 5 cows every 2 seconds, or 4 cows every 2 seconds. Done a tutorial on that as well, so yeah, go check that out as well. And yeah, I'm not going to run out of meat. As you can see in my inventory, I've got some steak. Um, lots of steak in the chest as well. We've got our sheep, so we've got some multicoloured sheep here. Um, and this is where I get my daily wool from, so I can make, I don't know, nice buildings, nice carpets for my lovely farm. So I've got all this walkway as well. This goes over to my next building. Uh, this is a bit of a different building. It's a very multicoloured um, bunch of buildings I have on my farm. And this is made of the mahogany and ebony wood. And if you go in here, you can see I've got some sterling engines powering a laser. And this laser, when I put a recipe in this assembly table, will make me the gates and the autarctic gates that I need for my bees. So that's a handy thing to have. Extremely expensive, that's why I've got like hardly any diamonds. And this is how I make the gates. I'll probably go into more depth of that. Um, another episode when I'm looking at getting some more autarctic gates for the um, apries. So this is my like power hut. This is where I get, uh, wh which I have all my machines. And this is where I, I don't know, make all the stuff. So I've got my rolling machine here. I've got a pulverizer, which duplicates all my ore. I've got a powered furnace. So anything that gets duplicated here goes into the powered furnace straight away. These are on, actually. I'm going to turn these on off quickly. Um, I've got a lot of coal as well, so it shouldn't run out too much. Um, so yeah, I've got my powered furnace here. I'll take that iron with me. Uh, I've also got a liquid transposer, a magma crucible, 
and an induction smelter. This has been very hard to make, but I can show you how to do it eventually. Now it's getting night time. Luckily, I've got some good armor, good good um, weapons, so I should be okay at the moment. But I'm going to show you what I'm eventually going to be making. This is my friend James's. Um, like this is a replica of what I'm going to be making. This is a wither skeleton spawner. It has to be tier four. Um, I'll be doing a tutorial on this as well. Um, how to make a with with a skeleton spawner and getting his load of XP. This is where you can just get so much XP you will not believe. And you've got mining turtles there, and I'll show you that a bit later in my tutorials. Um, we've got a golden chest here as well. Look how many wither skeleton skulls we've got. So yeah, that's quite a lot of stuff. I'm probably going to end up stopping this just over here to minimise lag. And he's got a solar solar panel here. I wasn't able to get him to give me a tour around it because of the server was a bit. Uh, bug it up, but oh well. Uh, these these are really cool things actually. There are actually portal um, turrets here. Uh, I don't know where they've gone now. They must have been taking out when I um, exchanged this over to Yogcraft, but uh, they're definitely in the mod pack because I can see one up there. And basically, uh, he put one in here and one in here, and then there's a lever inside where he can turn it off. So um, if he has like any friends coming, oh, lava outbreak. Um, so he can open them. And then the portal um, turrets can just shoot away and they can close it again and then they close it so they can't shoot anymore. So I think that was a really cool idea um, that he did there. So in this place um, he's got, I don't know, the basic stuff. He's got some en uh, ender, whatever that is, liquid, some, mol oh yeah, molten ender and molten redstone. Always good to have. He's got some uh, lava outbreak there. I'm just going to leave that. And then here we've got, he's got a lovely radio. Put that on while I'm waiting. Well, I'm showing you guys around. He's got a load of um, stuff in here, so I guess because he's this is a single player, well, I can come and get some of this stuff if I need it. Um, thank you very much, James. Uh, Potato OS, that's interesting. So he's got a, with the skeleton here, a bed. He's got a simple generator. I'm guessing that's powering his pulverizer and his uh, electric furnace. He's also got some overclockers in there, pretty handy. He's also got a compressor. An extractor, so I think something's blown up here, <laughs> and a rolling machine, so that's pretty good. Um, he's also got this thing here, that I think just drops weighted um, cubes, like storage cubes and stuff. I've done a tutorial on that as well, how to make the uh, ra radio, so if you want to go check that out as well, that's another thing. And this is a portal that takes you back to my farm. Oh, we've got a badass, what a badass. But yeah, um, he found a portal... Um, well, that was really easy and he gave me some iron. Um, he found a portal gun in a um, chest in a adva advanced, what, a mine, a mine, an abandoned mine shaft, that's it. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was then. Um, he found a portal gun in an abandoned mine shaft and managed to salvage it and now he's just running around with it, which is awesome. And yeah, you can just add on stuff to that portal gun and stuff and it's really good to find one in the abandoned mine shaft. So. I guess if we could find one, actually we could probably make one because we've got so many wither skeleton skulls over there. We can just make a wither boss and kill it. Uh, if you wonder what this is, this is the first crime table. Please praise, so uh, please praise. Thank you. Uh, I've got no skin, as I said before. Very stupid. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, there's not really much else to show you. That's been a quick little tour just to show you everything on my farm. Hopefully that's answered some questions. If you've seen my tutorials... Um, you'll probably be thinking, oh, what's this and what's that? But hopefully that's covered it. If you have any more um, questions, just leave it in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this um, little taster of my Let's Play series. I'm going to be doing this much more daily, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. But um, till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been Mr. Fozzy HD, and I will see you guys in my next video.